Hello children, I welcome you all in the next session of Geography lesson number 1, the Earth and the Gravity Cube. In the previous session, we have learnt about the globe, the earth size and angular distance. Today we are going to study the parallels of latitude. Let us see the activity given on page number 2 and 3 in your textbook. You can see an image on your screen. In the upper portion of the circle at the center X, we are supposed to draw angles of 20 degree V1, XK1 and V2, XK2 as K1 and K2 being the points on the circle. Now, we will draw an ellipse joining K1 and K2. In the lower half of the circle, we will mark angles of 60 degree and name the points on the circle as P1 and P2. Then draw an ellipse joining P1 and P2. After completing this, tell me children, are the distances between K1, K2 and P1, P2 the same? No, they are different. Compare the distances XK1 and XP2. Are these distances the same or are they different? Yes, they are same. Now, compare the ellipses we have drawn. Which is the larger ellipse and why? The ellipse drawn by joining the 20 degree points is larger than the ellipse that joins 60 degree points. Because 20 degree is a smaller angle as compared to 60 degree. So when we draw angles measuring 20 degree on the two ends, the distance left between the two angles is going to be more than the distance left between 60 degree angles. But the distances XK1 and XP2 are the same because we are dealing with a sphere. Note that though these lines appear to be ellipses in the diagram on the globe, they are circles. The circles thus created at some angular distance from the center of the earth are parallel to one another. Hence they are called parallels of latitude. You can see an image of parallels of latitude on your screen. The values of parallels are angular measures expressed in degrees. The degrees of parallels are measured from the equator as shown in figure. And that is why the equator is considered as 0 degree parallel. It is the largest parallel and also great circle. The angular distance of other parallels towards north and south pole goes on increasing away from the equator. Next, we will learn about the meaning of the term equator. The equator is considered as 0 degree parallel and also known as a great circle. The equator bisects the earth into north and south poles. The one to the north is called the northern hemisphere and the one to the south is called the southern hemisphere. Towards the north and south of the equator, parallels of latitude progressively means continuously become smaller and smaller in size, but their angular value goes on increasing. At the north and the south ends of the earth's axis, the parallels appear as points. These are called the north pole and the south pole. While labeling the value of a parallel, it is necessary to mention whether it is in the northern hemisphere or in the southern hemisphere. The parallels from the northern hemisphere are referred to as 5 degree n, 15 degree n, 30 degree n whereas the parallels from the southern hemisphere are referred to as 5 degree s, 
15 degree S, 30 degree S, etc. You can see an image on the screen showing the Earth's angular measurements. A line joining all the places located to the north of the equator at an angular distance of 30 degree is 30 degree north parallel. Hence, all the places on this parallel will be at the same latitude which is 30 degree N. New Orleans in North America, Cairo in Africa and Basra and Lhasa in Asia are all located on 30 degree N parallel. Now let us see about the total number of parallels on the earth. At 0 degree there is the equator. One can draw 90 parallels in the northern hemisphere from 1 degree N to 90 degree N. Similarly, one can draw 90 parallels in the southern hemisphere from 1 degree S to 90 degree N. Thus, one can draw 181 parallels on the earth at the interval of 1 degree. That is, 1 plus 90 plus 90 is equal to 181. So children, in today's session, we have learned about the parallels of latitude. In the next session, we will be beginning with meridians of longitude. Thank you.